Yo, what's up guys? So I thought about doing kind of a fun experiment with this channel. I thought I would see what would happen if I uploaded a video every single day for two weeks straight. Yes, so that'll be one video per day for 14 straight days. I just want to see if this will mess with the algorithm a little bit and uh, maybe I can get my channel to more viewers and more subscribers. And by the way, if you want to help me out with this experiment, uh, you can constantly like the videos that I post and comment on them and maybe even share them. And if you're not subscribed, it would help me out a lot also if you would just take a quick second and hit subscribe. Um, I just want to see where all this will take me and if anything, I don't know. Now, it took a while to brainstorm some videos and some ideas to share with you, uh, some good video ideas. So I'm not just teaching you a bunch of crap. It'll be good videos, but it'll just be every single day. So be prepared for that. All right, so to start things off, I thought I would show you a really neat way to make four aces completely vanish uh, within your fingertips. Let's get into it. So here's something with four cards. In fact, we got the four ace, we got the diamonds, uh, clubs, hearts, and the spades. Now watch, each time I turn the aces over, and the ace of diamonds in this case touches the deck, you can't really tell where the aces are. And especially if I sort of wave my fingers like this and wiggle them around, you can't really see how many aces I have in my hand right now. In fact, that was an illusion because look, all I have now are three single aces. I'll do that one more time. Watch the ace of clubs. When that touches the deck and I really take those three cards off, it looks like I have three aces in my hand, but really, if I just go like this and creates the illusion that I only have two cards. And I watch, I'll do it one more time. This time very slow motion so you can see everything that happens. Turn the cards over. Two aces go in my hand. Nothing sneaky. If I just wave like this, it looks like there's only one single card. Now that's done. Of course, you might have uh, figured out figured it out by now. All I'm doing here is hiding a card in my hand each time. And uh, gamblers call this a palm. It's just palming a card, hiding a card in your hand. And um, when you get really good at it, you can uh, really get away with it and really fool people into thinking there's no card there. Of course, that takes a lot of practice, but a good way to do it that I found is with the wiggle technique I've been doing this whole time, just wiggle the fingers like this and the ace just completely vanishes. All right, so this is something that I first uh, read about in an Ed Marlowe book and I cannot remember for the life of me where I read this, but it was definitely an Ed Marlowe thing, but he did not use an actual double backer. What he did instead is he did sort of a makeshift double backer, having two cards that are just face to face on top of the deck and that's how he would do it. But I thought, why not just use an actual double, ba double backer? It would make it so much easier. And I'm sure other people have touched on this before. There's no way this is unique to me at all. I'm just showing you at this routine how to, how to do it. All right, so what you wanna do is have the four aces on top of the deck and below those have your uh, double backer, all right? So what you wanna do is when you spread the four cards off the four aces and show them, you can show them cleanly and fairly, but when you do that, you wanna get a break, a pinky break under that top card, which is the double backer. And you wanna do that, you know, you want to make it sneaky don't don't do something like this don't do a big pushover and do that just in the open you want to make it a secret thing all right so, so i mean that can be seen and that's very obvious so what you want to do is make it secret all right so what i like to do is when i show them like this and i'm just saying look i got four aces and right now when i spread that last ace off the ball of my thumb there is contacting that top part anyway. So as, as soon as that does that, I'm, it's already pushed over a little bit and that allows me uh, to get my pinky right under there and just close up as I uh, just show the aces. So everything is, is in motion anyway, like this. And then you just show the aces around like this and uh, you're like this and I've already got the break and there's no need to do with this after the fact, all right? So when everything is in motion and get that break at that moment. So when you show the aces, you just put them on top like this, and now you have a break under five cards, right? The four aces and the double backer. So pick everything up. Uh, you can be in middle grip, or you can just do it like this and flip them over. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just flip the five cards over, okay? So when you do that, so look, I'll take those aces in my hand like this, and it looks like, and it seems like, 
that those are supposed to be the four aces, but really, you switched one of them for the double backer, and that's very convenient in a second when you flip these back over, since that double backer is right there now, when you flip them back over like this, only three aces uh, will show because of that double backer there. But I like to sort of present this uh, that I'm making the aces vanish because of the wiggling of the fingers, which will make sense later for that palm thing, right? So and you're like this again, you've just uh, taken the four cards off, switching the card for the for the double backer. And you say, look, if I take the four cards off like this and just wiggle the fingers like this, you can't really tell how many cards are there. In fact, sometimes it can look like three or whatever you want to say, right? But I like to use the wiggle fingers uh, presentation. All right, so now you just repeat everything. You just do it over again, all right? Do the same thing. Show the three aces like this. As you're showing them, uh, you get the break under that double backer right there, still on top. Now you just repeat it. Put the three aces on top, take everything and flip the four cards over, take the three, do the, now it's the same thing every time. It, nothing ever changes. You're just getting less cards each time, okay? So uh, do the wiggle uh, presentation. If I wiggle the fingers like this, you can't tell. I mean, it kind of looks like the ace just completely vanishes and it does. And uh, just same thing again, get the break under that double backer as you show these, uh, turn these, three cards over they think it's two it's really three and the double backer now look this is a cool thing when you take the two off like this you can't really w do the wiggle technique and make it look like one card because there's no way to get those aligned so what i do is i take them both in sort of a middle grip like this so now they are pretty much flush right they're aligned on the uh front and on front and back edges so what i do to make it look like one card as i wave it is i take the side of my pinky right here and i just do this I just push I just push it in as I wave the cards I just push it in just like that so as as the cards are being waved like this actually it'd be like this yeah it'd be like this so as the cards are being waved around I just take that pinky and slide it in and it, it looks like uh, that one card just vanishes and it looks like a card so just turn that card over and it will really be one card now to make the last ace vanish, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. You know, you can do the old Ernest color change, or you can do maybe a um, the Cardini change. You can do uh, maybe a clip shift, um, whatever you want to do to make that last ace vanish. And uh, what I like to do is do the, uh, the face up tent vanish. And it looks like this. So it's by Ken Krenzel, comes out of his book, Relax and Possibilities. And normally with a tent vanish, you do it face down and pretend to, you know, go through the actions of plumbing a card and it would be gone, right? But that's, I mean, a five-year-old could figure that out. But with a face up card, how could that work, right? So here's the work on that. It's different than a regular palm uh, position. Normally it would be like this, but with this, you want to clip that card in the fork of your hand right here uh, between your thumb and your index finger like this. So you're clipping that card like this in that little sort of crotch area, right? So when that happens, you'll notice that the card flips face down automatically when you do that, right? Just clip it like this at this corner here and it'll just flip face down. And then all you gotta do is take your thumb and just move it flush with the deck as you pretend to palm the card. So from here, it looks like this pretend to palm the card and just the move the turnover move is done already so you're like this is exposed view do this just like that it's very easy to do but the what sells it is the feints right and what i mean by feints is do it for real the first time and make your hand look as if it were doing it you know the fake thing but make that look the same as if the same every time all right so do it for real a couple of times say look with this last one, you might have guessed what's going on by now. What I'm doing is palming the card, and that's your presentation. The old gamblers do it like this. They just palm the card away, and of course, this takes, this takes a lot of practice to get good and make it look like there's no card in your hand. Do it a couple times, right? Now, the third time you do it, that's when you actually do the move. And uh, sometimes, when I do the, uh, the wiggle technique like I've been doing this whole time, I can really make that card look like it's really gone. You really want to make it seem like you're palming the card off and really like that's what takes the most practice is making it believable that you're palming a card, right? Just like this. And whenever you're doing it, you'll notice that sometimes uh, it takes a bit of a second and uh, because you want to turn that card over. So it takes a second to 
actually come away with a hand. And so when you're actually palming the card off, right, move your thumb, move your thumb a little bit and make a little scratching sound as you would with the fake thing. You'll notice there's a sound to it. So when you're actually palming the card, maybe do this, make a scratch sound and move your thumb. That way nothing looks different when you do the fake thing, right? So you wanna make everything look identical and so there would be no suspicion when you actually do it uh, like that. All right, guys, so as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you learned something new, if you got a value from the video, do me a huge favor, hit the like button, comment down below, share the video, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.